what's up? My name is HW. Hey, I'm the Suze. Suze, we did a video talking about the top five free Kemper packs yeah. uh, that you could download for free mm -hmm. at, uh, at the link below. And one of those was uh, kind of my favorite, the 65 Deluxe Reverb V3. Mm -hmm. This is not a liquid profile or anything. It's just a normal little profile we made a long time ago. Yeah. Sounds great. And one of the things I like about this is it's just how I would like kind of set right. up a Deluxe. It's yeah. volume on five, all the things. Probably not five. I might have gone up or down, you know, one or, you know, one on mm -hmm. something, up yeah. or down uh, on the bass middle treble. But this is what I would do. I would just plug it in the vibrato channel and, and that's kind of the sound of a Deluxe, yeah. you know? So I was messing around with this and I started thinking, well, if those are the top five, mm -hmm. you know, free packs, and this is my favorite, what's like my favorite, uh, or what are my couple of favorite, maybe my top three favorite tone stacks in the Kemper? Mm. And that's kind of weird because we usually apply a, a tone stack, like a liquid profile tone stack. Mm -hmm. We usually apply it for accuracy, yeah. but uh, I think you could apply them like effects. Oh. And so I was messing around with this because once you start moving the gain controls, they really behave very differently. Okay. So I thought, let's take this amp that I really enjoy and let's jump over here. Now, we've got the generic controls, right? Mm -hmm. So I can up the gain uh, from where we just were. I can up it to here and it's going to be a lot dirtier. Mm -hmm. But it's really not going to like, it's not introducing any like a bright cap value that's going to mm -hmm. be bringing in brightness as we go down. It's not going to be bringing in... Um, any sort of like like a lot of extra bass, like a plexi when you roll up the gain, right. a ton of bass comes in. Hmm. So I'm just going to roll this up. And, you know, I, I guess the Kemper's kind of neutral. It just introduces hmm. gain, okay. you know? And so maybe that's accurate. Maybe it's not. Mm-hmm. But uh, sounds pretty it's good. Generic. Yeah, it's generic, maybe. <laughs> and and that's that's the amount of, or, or I should say, that is uh, maybe more gain than you could get on the amp. You oh, know, because yeah, yeah. it, it'll it'll let you keep going. Yeah. But here's a here's a tone stack that I think is interesting. I'm just gonna apply a tone stack, and um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna just see like what we get. I'm looking for the AC15 or AC30 top boost, right? Mm. And so, game pot reference I've got is off. Okay. Uh, basically, that tells Kemper I don't know what my game pot was at. I actually know what it's at for this. It was at five, but who cares? Mm -hmm. It was at five. I'm gonna leave it there um, because this is relative to the AC30. So if I tell uh, it okay. five, yeah. it thinks I'm giving it an AC30 at five, not a deluxe right. reverb at five. So totally. I'm gonna leave it off. Uh, generic gain. You can always see the Kemper's generic gain, two point eight bright cap. I'm just gonna leave it all. Is it accurate? No. Is it cool? I don't know. <laughs> it's not even possible in it's, the real world. It's not world. even possible. Yeah, someone could build this amp, I yeah, suppose. That's true. Yeah. You know, d now, d is it going to sound the exact same right now? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes. I haven't moved any knobs. Okay. But let's say I want to take that sound. Let's have you play it one more time, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to move a bunch of a, a bunch of uh, knobs. <laughs> cool. And now I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to up the cut i'm gonna up the treble i'm gonna up the bass just because i know this is sometimes how i would dial in an ac30 hmm. so let's see what that sounds so like so you're dialing in a deluxe reverb like it was an ac30 sure <laughs> So we've obviously got this cut knob. I can make it super bright like yeah. this. Like this would be way too bright. Play a little more. Mm -hmm. Go to like the neck. You'll see we can really make this neck pick up still super bright. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't do that That's normally. That's not a deluxe. Yeah. It's, this is a cut all the way down, like no cut, and mm. then the treble all the way up. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, and on the neck here, we can go to the opposite, make it super dark. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Dang, that's wild. I mean, is it good? I don't know. Right. But, yeah. but it's cool. You can make you could make maybe mm-hmm. you know maybe go a little more sensible here. Uh, we get a little less gain, and uh, and and we could maybe make a thin like like try that. Ne- yeah, you're on mm-hmm. the neck right there, yeah. and uh, we could make this like a thinner sound. Uh, that's kind of a deluxe reverb, but going through like a filter, a different hmm. filter, you yeah, know. Yeah. The interesting thing here is because the middle is unaffected. Yeah. The more we move knobs, the more different it gets. Mm. But let's uh, let's put all this back, and uh, uh, you could of course go pretty accurate, and you would get, um, you know, you could actually come in here and find the accurate one. And I actually do like this deluxe reverb uh, model a lot. Hmm. Uh, but you could. You could be accurate. You also could just do a Fender Champion, because why not? Hmm. And the Champion is just going to have treble and bass. A Fender hybrid amp for yeah. making. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Fender Champ, little tiny guy. Yeah. And now, uh, let me crank the bass and see, cr- let me crank that and see what happens. a good sound right there it's a good sound just a mellow cleaner Mm. sound up the bass down the treble there's not a ton of low yeah low end probably in this tiny little amp again yeah not a deluxe (laughs) but uh or a champ. Or a champ. <laughs> right. But one of my favorite ones in here, it's funny, mm. I, I always give it a, let's go Let's go back to the start, just so we can hear that original sound again. That's Now that I've, I've gone back to the original profile. I'll play this again just mm. so we can have a reference. So it, 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 I, I always say that plexis don't do a lot. Mm. And that's kind of true. Like their EQs are not ultra powerful. Yeah, they're not yeah. ultra powerful. But mm-hmm. one of the things I really like is the Plexi Bright uh, tone stack. It's probably my favorite. And in a way, I would say I could deal with it on any amp because mm. I li- I kind of I know what it does and what I do what it does I think is pretty useful. So what's going to happen is we've got this deluxe reverb, and it's going to um, as I up the gain, it's going to get super super full of low end. Hmm. It's just going to be super crazy big bass so uh, try the bridge pickup to really help us out but you'll still see how full this is yeah and that's like a plexi the mm-hmm. bass just goes huge it gets it gets right. large and sort of in charge so what can you do well you could um dump some of this bass if you want but you've still got a lot of uh a lot of low end here's the best you can get now uh with no bass so we're still super thick bassy mm-hmm. yeah we if we want to adjust the bass we might have to go into the definition and do some of these other things i'm not gonna do that okay. right now but one of the great things about about plexis is or just marshall amps in general they have the high upper mids mm-hmm. and their mid controls um obviously they have presence and treble but the mid controls are like high mids and it kind of adds that chirpy martial quality i a lot of times Mm. like running it full so i'm gonna set this up just kind of how i would set up like uh uh, a marshal and a little bit more treble a little little more in the presence and a lot more in the mids Mm. and we've got this thing big and that's going to sort of counteract all the bigness in the bottom and we'll get a more martial rock and sound Thank you. 
That's cool. I wouldn't guess it's a deluxe reverb, you know? No. You got a lot of that, those upper mids and stuff. Yeah. You, we could, of course, uh, um, go even brighter and sort of make it something like this and bring in some of that low end because I've mm -hmm. lowered the gain. So question. So you, yeah. when you brought up the um, Marshall tone stack uh -huh. it was sort of set at a way that you wouldn't really set it like well with it's just all new. in the middle yeah as the default so you would more go here on the marshall anyway like more to the brighter well settings, i, I you know? would but but that's all because a marshall sounds the way it sounds you know we're right. starting with a deluxe right which huh. sounded already how i want it to you know with the yeah you know usually i feel like Mar because marshalls have like like this when you up the gain mm -hmm. the uh you get so much bass. Yeah, the bright yeah. channel's so bright. The dark channel's so dark. You end up going to these extreme settings. But it's fun That's interesting. to think about going to the extreme settings yeah. on another circuit. Because the tone stack thinks that you're playing a Marshall. Yeah. 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 So like this mid control <laughs> right. is acting like it does on a Marshall, not like it does on a Fender. Yeah, that's interesting. You know? Yeah. And then you don't have this presence on a Fender. So you could darken this up. You can mm. make this a much warmer Marshall kind of sound. Try that on the bridge there. Dude, that's wild. I mean, it's pretty cool. That's you know? all one profile. <laughs> yeah, just one profile yeah, and uh, doing that. But hmm. but because you have when you go to other models too, you also get more control over the gain. So you yeah. can you can keep turning the gain up. Mm -hmm. You know, on all these models, um, just for science, you can max out the gain, mm. and then that's the max amount of gain you can get. Unless you come under here, generic gain. Now the fender says, well, hey, that's uh, only five point five yeah. on the generic gain. Mm-hmm. It's funny too. This is very validating for me to see this because Fender also agrees with me that a Marshall on 10 should only get you to about that light right there, oh. <laughs> which is what a lot of my packs have had. It just right. goes to 10 or 5.5. And yeah. sometimes people go, why do you only do it clean? Yeah. And then I'll go, because this is an old Marshall and they... It's reserving more gain are for other amps. Clean. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is the highest spectrum of gain that it could like measure in an amp. This right. should be like, yeah. you know... uh, uh a Mesa Boogie, Triaxis, a Dual Rack, the Satan. Uh, a Friedman. Yes, the Randall <laughs> Satan. Right. This should be up here. Yeah. It yeah. can't it can't do any more than that. Right. Of course, down here would be the old sixties amplifiers on yeah, 10. Yeah. You know? We've this is the progress of guitar tone in the last it would be, right. 40 years right here. It's these like five yeah. dots. It would be weird if they were both at 10, the old <laughs> right, ones and the new right, ones. Right, yeah. right. Huh. So, um, so uh, uh, I was going to say I stand corrected, but uh, the internet stands corrected. Mm, uh, I, I have been uh, 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 validated, vindicated, <laughs> uh, whatever. But this is a cool way to use tone stacks. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, let's go to one more just for fun. Um, let's go to one that I never really use. You're also answering a question that comes up a lot. Can I take an old profile and make it liquid? Yes, you can. Sure. Just by a doing this. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You can absolutely do it. Mm -hmm. So let's just choose a random one. Oh, PV5150. How could this be wow. correct in any way? Yeah. I have no idea. It could sound like absolute trash. Mm. Let's try it. I've never tried this before. I've never pulled up a deluxe and thought, let's put a 5150 uh, a, a, a tone stack on it, right? You know, tone stack with the gain control. You with, might be the first. I don't know if anyone else. Yeah, is I don't know who else is doing this. Thinking that, yeah. But let's just try it. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens here. This might be terrible. I really don't know. This is through. We're definitely the first place rig. This is also through a '67 Trini Lopez. Yeah. The odds of someone else having put this rig together. No. No. We're making history. Very small. Yes. Here we go. It's actually really dope. <laughs>
wild. That actually sounds really good. It does sound good. Yeah. First thing I noticed was that sizzle. Yeah, yeah. And and that's because the presence is controlling a much higher mm -hmm. frequency band, right. you know, and we're upping it, which is uh, really wild. So infinity hmm. amount of unique sounds that you could build yeah. by just trying other tone stacks. How many are there? There's like 40 or something? Yeah, There's in like the a, 30s or 40s. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. absolutely. All right, I've been HW. Wow, I've been Seuss.